This week, Sky News reported on MBA students at Monash University being forced to evaluate their own privilege and undergo oppression training. The university has come under fire by students over the inclusion of controversial elements of gender studies in course materials seen by Sky News. Students were asked to consider their interse intersectionality those who are uh, male, white, attractive, upper or middle class and highly lit literate, well, oh, goodness me, they have domination over those who were described as gender deviant, non-fertile, female, working class, disabled or a person of colour. Why would anyone want to take on crippling student debt to have to study that? Here with the inside scoop, I've got Sky News digital reporter Tyrone Clark. Tyrone, this chart, we're going to put it up on the screen, is frankly absurd. I know some people saw it and thought it was a joke. Tell me what it conveys and why students are calling out Monash for inflicting this sort of radical gender theory on them in, in a business course of all things. Well, essentially, Rita, thank you very much for having me on, by the way. Essentially, as you said, this is a typically a gender studies theory, intersectionality, where someone's race, their gender, their socioeconomic background determines whether they're oppressed or they're privileged or not. Mm. Now, you can study this at university, you can, but these um, MBA students are absolutely outraged because they say, well, it's got nothing to do with what they're studying. And they well, say that it deliberately divides students as well. Well, it, it is by nature divisive. It's, it's got all those categories and a lot of those categories you have absolutely zero control over, which exactly. I think is the point. Now, how much are students paying to do this sort of course? And importantly, how much money is a university like Monash receiving from the government, from taxpayers? Well, this is a two-year course and it costs $77,000. Okay. How much? 77000 Oh, my God. But... They're getting stung essentially twice because mm. taxpayers give a lot of money to that university. In 2021, the Commonwealth Government gave $1.6 billion to Monash. No way. $1.6 billion? Mm. That, that doesn't surprise me. Now, this isn't the first time Monash has come under fire in recent months. They changed their policies. You can give them some credit for that after Sky News reported on how they were forcing students, essentially, to undertake these... Uh, Indigenous modules, highly political Indigenous modules, or they couldn't graduate or even study. Exactly. Now, these learning modules are usually reserved for, like, uh, cyber security and safety. But Monash said you have to do these uh, Indigenous voice modules around the same time as the Gama speech by the Prime Minister unless, if you don't do it within the first two weeks of the semester, then you will not be able to graduate, you will not be able to access the uh, online portal and you won't be able to sit exams. Just and appalling. Absolutely appalling. Again, we should not have this sort of indoctrination forced on students who just want to get a higher education. Tyron Clark, always a pleasure. Thank you, very Thank much. you so much for coming Cheers. on.